In the earliest days of air travel, passengers really lived the high life. There were multi-course meals that were actually prepared during flight. But as air travel increased, this became impractical and airlines turned to pre-made meals. Because when you're feeding a lot of people in a small space, it's best not to leave dinner up in the air. These are meals meant for a higher purpose, as in feeding folks at an altitude of thousands of meters. That's why you don't see any souffles here. They couldn't possibly rise to the occasion. It's just one of the things they consider when preparing airline meals. Airline meals start with loads of ingredients. They make 45,000 meals at a central facility in one day. Of course, the cooks wash their hands very thoroughly because they don't want any germs stowed away in the meal. They cook on grills that are a meter and a half long. At one end, they stir fry a big batch of veggies, while at the other, they saute potatoes. They spice it up. Airline food isn't really all that bland, but the atmosphere on the plane may affect our perception of it. It's believed that low humidity and the pressurized environment cause our taste buds to work less efficiently. Something to take into account when you're traveling. The recipes also vary according to the route. Flights to more exotic locales will offer spicier dishes, while a domestic North American flight usually calls for a little less seasoning. They fire up different grills for the meat. They're making meals for the crew as well as the passengers. On many airlines, a pilot must eat a different meal than his counterpart to minimize the risk of food-related illness compromising the flight. The cooked food will now be blast chilled in special fridges. They scrub up again as they prepare to assemble the meals. They start with the food that's to be reheated on the plane. It goes into foil containers. The smaller containers inside help to control the portion sizes. They're careful not to overstuff them because that could cause messy spills later. some sauce, and a generous dab of butter, and you have the makings of a first-class meal. They put the lids on and make sure to vent them. With each menu change, the chefs meet with airline representatives. They serve up sample dishes and discuss the ingredients with them. There's often a lot of negotiation before a menu is settled on. Every detail is planned, right down to the plates and bowls and how they're to be arranged on the serving tray. It takes a bit of arranging to make everything fit. Once they come up with a spot for everything, they follow that formula in the kitchen. As with any meal, Presentation counts for a lot. Of course, meals for passengers in the economy section are more simple and the planning less detailed. The food-laden trays all go onto trolleys and they roll them into a big refrigerated room where they're arranged according to the flight number. They won't be here for long because every meal made is to be served that day. And all the groundwork beforehand is sure to pay off once passengers and crew are en route. <laughs>